What is an open French drain? An open French drain is when you're not growing grass over it. The stone is exposed. This will move water faster than any other French drain. This is just like one long blind inlet. Basically, you have all this stone that the water just, it'll just pour right through it with no interruptions. It, it moves water so quick. We have the large aggregate that we're putting in this system. The larger the aggregate, the bigger the voids, the more water you're gonna move. You can see that we're dropping one and three quarter inch cobble into these open French drains. The water used to come off this hillside and just flood this backyard and it would just sit inches over the patio. So we're gonna catch all that water in this open French drain Okay, right there by the patio, you can see where we're also having a second line of defense. In the event that so much water is coming down this hill during a torrential rain, if all that water that's coming off the wood timber is pouring into this backyard, if that first line of defense, that one open French drain along the wood timbers, does not take in all the water, we went ahead and we put a second open French drain around the patio that used to have several inches of water on it. And it's a walkout house, so the water would just find its way right into that door wall, which was no good. So if you're looking for something for extreme water conditions, you know you have a lot of water, you know you're moving a lot of water through your yard, do something like this. It's decorative, it's low maintenance, it's not gonna grow any weeds because the whole trench is full of stone and we use our high octane pipe and open French drains because you're moving water so fast in an open French drain that you better have the pipe with the most inlet in the world and that is the Boffman Royal Blue high octane. So the guys are here just this is after hours and hours and hours of excavation and hauling out clay. Believe it or not most of the work is done at this point. You can see how smart this veteran crew works, so they're not spilling stone everywhere. So that is a burrito wrapped French drain like we teach you guys to build. And over the burrito wrap, we're putting a layer of stone just for aesthetics. So you can't see the fabric, the cobble rock, the shoreline stone, the round rock. And keep that in mind, always use round rock. Round rock doesn't compact. So it's always going to flow more water. Sharp rock, crushed stone, that will compact. It won't move as much water for you. So this is what an open French drain is. Nothing moves water better than an open French drain. We have a situation here where the building is down low and the water runs down the hill and they're getting water in the building. So we're excavating out a very large trench to create a very large open French drain. We're going to pick up some of the water that comes down off the roof from the downspouts as well. Water was actually getting in the building through this side entrance, the service door. And we're taking this open French drain out to the back where we have plenty of fall, plenty of slope. The water is going to move fast. We're going to move a high volume of water with this drain. And we're just taking it out back in the brush area. This open French drain is a commercial style, commercial size. This wouldn't be your typical residential, but we have a commercial building and we have a lot of rooftop water and we sure have a lot of water coming down the grade. So this open French drain needs to be the size that it is to move the volume of water that we need to basically keep out of the building and redirect the water around the building to the back of the property. I just want to talk about how this yard used to drain before the trees and landscape were here. So the water supposed to go around the house. I see this a lot, you know, especially areas that are hilly and you know that's where folks like to to live 
and build a home. Well, this brick paper patio used to go all the way to the arborvitaes, and the arborvitaes got massive, and the root system grew, and then they raised the ground. This tree got beautiful. There's nothing wrong with this, this tree. It's gorgeous. But the water used to come right through here. So now that the roots grew and all that wood's in the ground, it raised, the elevations have all changed. So the water got pushed to the house. Well, the homeowner had to replace the two bottom layers of brick. So this was just done. The water, brick absorbs water, moisture will just, the mortar will soak it up. And that had to be fixed. Those bottom rows are new. So this brick paper patio went here. Water was all trapped in here. So our guys are great brick hands. Went ahead. They just made a real nice, you can't even tell this was done. You know now because I'm telling you. What we did is we swaled this. We're forcing the water into here is what we're doing. We're going to catch all the water. It's going to run right into the stone. We got pipes in there. And this goes all the way out to the road. We then cut the brick, reassembled the pavers, and this section had to be removed. We got to move the water through here. They love their arborvitaes and their privacy. They weren't going to go for tearing those out. You can see how clean this work is. The guys cut the sod off with a sod cutter. The system's done. You can't even tell we, you know, everything that went on here, plus it rained on the guys. I mean, it's been... It's been one of those days. So water just goes into this open French drain, all this stone. It just goes in and it runs to the street with the pipes. Take you, take you out to the street here. All right, so We have one here, and then we have one here. So we're not just dumping all the water and trying to ask one pipe to do all the work. We're, uh, and then we got that, that corner downspout right here. So this gentleman with the trench of rain kits, the new drainage system, the new downspouts, he's all set. His garage used to fill full of water. His home was compromised. The back was so bad. I'm going to show you something. Here's what, here's what moisture does to brick veneer. Look at that. Now the back was disintegrated. That's what moisture does to your brick veneer. So you pay extra money for beautiful brick veneer. You got to take care of it. You got to make sure. So when people say, look, I don't have a drainage issue. My basement is dry. I'm like, oh, okay. So that's, it's news to me because you got moss growing on the back of your house. You got brick that's deteriorating, mortar that's absorbed moisture, and it's crumbling. So I see all those signs. I, water doesn't have to penetrate the home and become flood water in the basement to be an issue. It could attack your home and your property and devalue your largest investment in life so quick. So that's why it's important. That's why you always hear me say, look, everybody needs an underground downspout system to direct the water away from their house and everybody could probably use some form of yard drainage. Nice work, guys. Man, that's clean. I love it.